Okay, I've got a free rim light action for you. It's gonna do pretty much most of the hard work of setting up a rim light in Photoshop. Not the whole effect, but it's gonna give you enough so that you could just make some little tweaks and dial it in exactly how you need it. So let me show you how it works. Okay, let me show you this rim light action. What I'm gonna do is just immediately run it so you can see what this does. Couple of caveats. This is only gonna work on a cutout. So you can see this layer here I've got of this Wonder Woman statue. If I turn that on and off, you can see it's already cut out, ready to go. So this is the first cutout. It's not gonna work on just a photo. You've gotta have a cutout and the rim light effect is gonna go around the edges. On top of that, if you need the rim light kind of coming into the photo, so if I look at her, like if I wanted to get the rim light within her face, this isn't gonna work either. Effectively, you need to get a selection within her face and we can do that. Um, but if you've got an object cut out and you just want rim light on it, this is gonna work charm. So certainly for composites where you don't care so much about the detail and you just wanna get a rim light effect around the edges, this works wonders and it's really, really quick to set up. So let's just run this. I'm gonna hit play and boom. There you go, instant rim light. This does most of the work and then there's a, there's a couple of extra steps you're gonna to wanna to tweak. So I'm gonna show you those now. First thing you've got is the fill. Okay, so this adds about a 45% fill on this effect. So you can dial that all the way up to 100 and it's gonna go crazy like that. Or you can dial it down. We'll probably leave it at 100 actually just to do the next bit. Um, the second thing to say is this is gonna apply all the way around the edges. So really the only bit of work you need to do is to take it away from areas where it just doesn't make sense for there to be a rim light. Now, for this, you need to think about motivated lighting. Like, where is the light source in your image? Where is it coming from? Um, where are the lights currently hitting the image? And um, that's where you want to keep the rim light and where the shadow you want to take it away. So to do that, what you can see is it's added this layer that is clipped to your cutout. That is really just a white layer that has got the middle cut out. What that means is I can add a layer mask on top of that and then paint out areas of this rim light where I don't want it to apply. So that's pretty much all you've got to do. So I can come over here, get a black paintbrush, a little bit small. So I'm just increasing the size of the black paintbrush. And then all I've got to do is go around the edges and decide where does this not make sense to apply? Where, where do I not want this rim light? So I'm just gonna pick a few areas to demonstrate this. So I might come down here, say to the lasso, get rid of it around there, maybe her hand, maybe even underneath. You get the idea. What I could do is dial down the flow of the brush so that when I'm doing this sort of paint out of where I don't want it to apply, it doesn't fully get rid of it. And that just gives you a bit more control. But this is all you've got to do. So you can just go around your document, figure out where you don't want this rim light effect to apply, and then simply erase it. So you can do it like that with a layer mask, or you could literally just erase from that rim that you've got there. But I like to do it this way because it means I can come back. So that's all there is to it. It's very, very quick. This gets me out of trouble a lot when I want a rim light. Now, supposing you wanted to get a, like a colored gel effect, all you've got to do is paint on this area. So what I would suggest you do is lock the layer. So what that's going to do is it's going to lock all the transparent areas and just keep the area that is currently white paint. Then what you can do is pick a color you want to paint with and just paint over the top of where it's white. So I've got this effect I'm working on where I'm trying to get uh, a kind of glow effect to her lasso here, which doesn't look too great at the moment. It's kind of a bit of a work in progress. But what I might want to do is change the kind of rim light around uh, near where the rope is so it matches that kind of yellow glow that's coming off uh, the, the rope there. So... All I need to do is have the brush selected. I'm going to get the flow all the way up to 100. You could build it up. 
and I'm going to sample that yellow color. So if we come in here, oh, make sure you're on the paint layer because that's what we're going to paint on. I'm going to sample that yellow color. It's probably a little bit too dark. We'll see how we go. And then all I need to do is just come in at the edge and remember it's clipped. So me painting here is not going to have any effect. It's only once I start sort of getting to the edge that you can see the color of that rim light starts to change. So now it's going yellow. So already up here, I've kind of overdone it. So I can just undo that. And then maybe we'll come over this side. I think I'd probably erase that with the uh, layer mask there. So, you know, this is why layer masks are good because then you can go, oh, I've changed my mind. I do want to get this back because I want to paint it yellow. So I can come on my layer mask, get white there and put it back. And now that brings back the yellow. So this is kind of the idea. So it's really as simple as that. You've just got to pick a color and then paint over the top of that white that's applied. So this rim light action sets all this up for you so that all you've got to do is come in and just make the sort of creative decisions of how you want this to apply, how much of it you want it to apply, and if you want to start playing around with uh, colored rim light and that kind of thing, um, it's completely possible. It's just a case of lock the layer, pick the color, paint on top. So how do you get this rim light action? I have put this in a pack you can download on my Gumroad page. So ignore the price. You can get this completely for free. It's just a case of subscribing to the channel. And if you go on my uh, channel page, there's a subscriber only video. And if you check the description on that, there's a discount code that will give you 100% off. You can get it completely for free. When you do, you're going to get a whole bunch of other actions as well. So there's my dodge and burn action. I've got a video on that. I'm working through all these other ones. I'm going to make videos as well. So you can grab all of these for free. As I say, all you got to do is subscribe. Uh, go to the channel page. Look in the description. You'll find the code for this. There's another product in there that I've got a free code for. There's other stuff I'm putting up for subscribers. So if you like it, stay subscribed, watch all the other videos. If you just want to grab it for free, that's fine. But I'd really appreciate it if you can stick around. I've got loads of other videos on the channel that I think you're going to love if you want to learn how to do Photoshop compositing, photo manipulations. So that's all there is to it. Check those out and I'll see you in the next video. Head to toyshooter.com for more tutorials, resources, and help with Photoshop compositing. You can also subscribe to my free newsletter by visiting shoot.toys in your browser or clicking on the link on screen. You can also follow my work on Instagram at instagram.com slash shoot.toys. Subscribe to the channel to watch a special subscriber-only video, which you'll find on my channel page after subscribing. Lastly, you'll find links to all the places I've just mentioned in the description for this video below.